Cleveland. I'm Natalie Herbeck. Hey, I hope you are hungry because over the next hour, we are talking grab and go. Great meals, snacks, desserts, even side dishes to pick up the next time that you're craving something delicious. Up first, a fairly new bird in town. This is Chicken Ranch. Originally, the Chicken Ranch concept came from my uncle who had a restaurant in, in New York City called Chicken Ranch in the 80s. And we used to visit there a lot growing up. It's always been something I, that me and my brother wanted to do is bring back the Chicken Ranch, like our own version of it. Everybody loves chicken. Chicken, you know, appeals to families, appeals to kids. You know, we have healthy chicken options because we offer grilled. It seems to be a good fit for right now and, and what's going on. As far as chicken goes, you know, we obviously have our tenders, which are popular, as well as our thighs. And we also have our wings that are, that are very popular and our sandwiches. All our chicken comes from Southern Ohio, out of Kindron, a co-op down there. They're all raised on pasture, naturally, you know, hormone-free, and it's, it's, you know, happy chicken. We try to serve, you know, honest food. You know, along with chicken, we have our barbecue features, like our baby back ribs, which we braise in Dr. Pepper. Our all-time fan favorite, our crispy popcorn cauliflowers, definitely one of the, the big hits here at the ranch. Our roasted shrimp, we have blackened and grilled mahi-mahi, which we do in a po' boy, and we do on our a la carte menu. We also have our favorites and our sammies, which uh, consists of our chicken sandwiches, our chicken ranch favorites, you know, pretty popular mac and cheeses. Along with that, you know, we also offer our sides with the a la carte section of the menu. We have a Velaki red rice, which is a high antioxidant red cargo rice. Jalapeno corn cakes are definitely something not to be, you know, missed. As far as the sauces go, that's a big part of what we do, especially with the a la carte section of the menu. It kind of allows the diner to keep mixing it up every time they come. You know, we have all kinds of different Asian-inspired, you know, flavors. There's those kind of sauces, or if you want like a Nashville hot, you know, some Southern flavors. Our comeback sauce is really popular, as well as our ethnic sauces, like our black garlic tomb, our traditional, you know, honey mustard barbecues, all that good stuff. You know, everything, obviously, we make from scratch. A big part of what we do, you know, accommodating dietary restrictions and a big majority of the, of the food on our menu is gluten-free but we also have a large number of vegetarian and vegan options keto friendly so that's definitely something you know I kept in mind when we were you know designing the food for the restaurant it really does mean a lot to us you know, everybody was affected by covid and being able to have a place that we did on our own. Me and my brother, my wife is a big part of what we do here. And you know, sometimes you'll see our kids you know, running around. I mean, it feels good to be part of the community and, and have a restaurant that we could honestly say, you know, we built from the ground up. The Chicken Ranch is located on Cedar Road in University Heights. All right, how about a slice of fresh bread to accompany that meal? Well, your taste buds will be tempted, that's for sure, when you see the shelves at Breads of Fairlawn. Breads of Fairlawn is an artisan bake shop. Um, all of our breads are no preservatives, no artificial flavors, handcrafted every single day. Our staff starts working in the middle of the night. We have our French boule, our French peasant, our baguettes, which are our daily breads. We have a fruit bread every single day. Cranberry cherry walnut is our most popular. Raisin cinnamon walnut is also a popular fruit bread. We have a cheese bread every single day. Amazing. Ah, cookies, that's my favorite. I've uh, just recently started helping bake and every baker here brings something to the counter as far as a pastry, you know, whatever your passion is. And yeah, definitely cookies are, are my passion. Some of our famous ones, death by chocolate, fruit and nuts, monster cookies, sugar cookies. New one I just started is rum raisin oatmeal cookies. Everybody comes in for a scone. 
dozen at a time. It's good to place an order if you want to get your scones because I have so many customers that are just disappointed midday on Saturday. So I am typically here just on Saturdays. I've been here with Kareem and Monica for five years and I think everybody comes in just for scones sometimes, you know, not even the bread. <laughs> We provide a calendar for our customers to showcase our daily breads. So as I said, we have our typical French daily breads, but every day we'll have a fruit bread, a cheese bread, a multi-grain, a sourdough. So the breads are listed on the calendar, and then when it comes to the pastries that we have, we never really put those on the calendar, but we post those on our Facebook site so customers have an idea of what's available each day. If you haven't had a chance to stop by, take a few minutes, stop by, come in, talk to us. We'll share samples of breads with you um, so you can get an idea of what we have available. It's always good to come in and just taste the variety that we offer. We're hoping that everybody gets a chance to stop in. We're located in Fairlawn, Ohio, just east of Summit Mall, tucked away in a tiny little corner. If you're driving down Market Street, you wanna make sure to pay attention to the road because it's super busy, but yeah, um, 3067 West Market. When customers show up to Breads of Fairlawn, we hope that they feel welcomed. We hope that they find you know, whatever it is that uh, makes their tummy happy. We want them to walk away happy and welcomed and wanting to come back. As the name implies, Breads of Fairlawn is in Fairlawn, right on West Market. Still to come, packed with flavor, we are heading to Parma for empanadas. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. All hour, we are grabbing great meals and taking them to go. And this next stop, it will inspire you to plan a trip to Parma. This is Empanada's Latin street food. Empanadas is a Puerto Rican restaurant bringing Puerto Rico flavor to Parma. We have Puerto Rican dishes, traditional dishes, Puerto Rican flavors. My husband was kind of tired of the traditional empanadas, like the beef, the chicken, and the pizza flavor. Those are like the three main flavors that you sell at the island. But he wanted to go think outside the box. So he just said, you know, I want empanadas to have everything. I want steak and cheese. I want even veggie ones. I want just cheeseburger one. And then we're in Polish village. So he's like, well, let's make a Polish one. So an empanada is dough and you stuff it with the meat or the veggies and then you close it. We do like a little braid on the end and then you deep fry it and then serve hot and eat it. The plate in the back is our flattened box, top seller right now. It comes with savory plantains, it comes with sweet plantains, two empanadas, they could either be beef, chicken or the pizza flavor. And then it comes with chicken and pork and side of rice. And it also brings our house sauce, which is mayo, ketchup, and garlic. And then in the plane in the front, it's also other items that we offer in our menu, which is the potato ball. It's potatoes stuffed with ground beef in a ball, deep fried to a perfect golden brown. We have the corn sticks, and they have cheese inside, American cheese, and the alcapurria, which is green bananas stuffed with pork inside. They're frozen, and then they're deep fried. So like I mentioned before, we do have empanadas that are dessert. We have the Nutella strawberry, we have the pineapple and cream cheese, we have the guava and cheese, and we have the PB&J. But we also have cakes, and we have a three milk cake, and then we also have the chocolate three milk cake, which is the same thing, just chocolate version. And we have rice pudding, and we have custard, vanilla custard and cheese custard. It's been overwhelming. It's been awesome. The first couple of months that we were open, 
lines were out the door. Everybody wanted to try, everybody wanted to support. And you know, we have our regular customers come in and we already know what they're gonna order. We feel the love. The love has been there and the support has been there. And Parma City has been great. Empanada's Latin street food is on Ridge Road in Parma. Okay, another great way to satisfy your hunger is with a trip to Old Brooklyn Nutrition, where you'll find all sorts of drinks packed with flavor and nutrients. Old Brooklyn Nutrition, we are a healthy cafe, so we provide energizing teas and healthy meal replacement shakes. We also serve coffee and pre and post workout beverages. I've been on my health journey for the past five years, so um, giving the opportunity to share that type of health with other people, um, working one on one, I just wanted to open up a space for the community to reach more people. Everything is very customizable, so whether you really need an extra energy or you know, you're substituting uh, what your normal fast food meal would be with something a little bit more tasty and nutritious. We're here to help you figure out what it is that you need to get through your day. Since we have so many different flavors and they're all really healthy, but they do taste like dessert, I always ask them what is their favorite ice cream or dessert because then that narrows it down to like something that they're gonna love. So whether it be cheesecake or brownie batter or cookie dough, we have a healthy shake that's going to be perfect for you. They're complete meal replacement shakes. They have 24 grams of protein, 21 minerals and vitamins. Whatever kind of mood you're in, you're able to find something that is going to serve that craving in a healthy way. Our teas, we have probably over 100 different varieties. So you can do natural teas and they help boost your metabolism. We also serve it with aloe, which is just good for your healthy digestion. We also serve like mega teas. So our mega teas will have extra B vitamins for extra energy and focus. And then also has our beauty booster, which is good for your hair, skin and nails. Right now we're serving different mega teas every week and then a different one on the weekend. So you always will be able to find something that you love. Our coffees are really great creamy coffees. You can have them hot or cold and they have 15 grams of protein in them, and then they're less than two grams of sugar. You'll definitely feel a difference in energy, so whether you're doing it once a day or you're coming in a couple times a week, you're definitely gonna feel a difference giving your body exactly what it needs. Our bodies are machines, and we kind of tend to forget that it, it adapts to what we're doing for it. So if we're changing and we're doing something healthy, then it's gonna, it's gonna work out better for you. Old Brooklyn Nutrition is on Pearl Road in Cleveland, and it's not far from the Cleveland Zoo. Still ahead, celebrate Taco Tuesday every day of the week. I like the sound of that. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. Live life on the edge, just a little bit at least, to make every day Taco Tuesday. You can grab and go at Ola Tacos. We are here in Willoughby, Ohio, in what is our trifecta or dual restaurant concept which is Ola Tacos, where we're at in the first floor. Wood fire tacos and birrias, margaritas. And then Barocco Arepa Bar, which is upstairs, is our uh, Latin American food concept. And then we also have in-house our own brewery now, which is Pulpo Beer Company. We're the first Latin brewery in Ohio, and we're doing delicious beers. We've uh, been in the restaurant business for about 10 years now and operating both uh, locations, Ola Tacos and Barocco. 
we recently wanted to bring on more family that has been working with us uh, for all these years and what better than to do something together and the brewery uh, came up. Paola Balduena, which is uh, my sister-in-law, she is our, our chemist and our, our spearhead of the brewery here. She is leading all of our efforts uh, towards all, uh, every single brew and every single ingredients uh, that we're using in all of our uh, beers that we're making in-house. We were always very fanatic of craft beer and when we had the opportunity of opening uh, our two restaurants into this amazing facility, we said we need to, we need to do it. We want to do is something more than an IPA that is what everybody is drinking right now, right? It's like the trend right now. So we want to do more kind of beers that we, the more styles that we drink back home, which are lagers, which are pilsners, and we want um, to pair those beers with our food. Ola Tacos being that it's wood fire tacos, uh, but birrias, which is one of the things that, that's been moving the hottest for us. Birria taco is essentially the braised beef taco, and it's stuffed with a ton of melted chihuahua cheese and griddle in its own fat, and served with a side of consomme, which is the beef broth. And then you basically just dip the taco in it. Very crispy, moist, cheesy, you name it. It's, it's, it's all that you want in a taco, it's amazing. And we also are gonna show you our pizza birria, which is another invention that we had in house here, which is a double layered flour tortilla with Mexican marinara and melted chihuahua cheese. It has our birria beef, cilantro, onions, and radishes on top. And then the crust is roasted. That's another delicious item that we've uh, launched a few months ago and it's doing amazing. Our staple item, which is from Barocco. Barocco is our Latin American concept. Uh, we're uh, focused on arepas, which are uh, handmade how many corn tortilla pockets. We uh, grill all tortillas in house and we stuff them with a variety of different ingredients and it's served with a choice of your side. It's been amazing uh, bringing our food and our culture uh, to Northeast Ohio, especially here in Willoughby, Ohio, because we are busting our butts. We're using authentic recipes. I mean that my grandma, my mom uh, used in, in their own kitchens. So we are uh, not taking any shortcuts. We try to, even for our arepas, which I mentioned before, we cook and grind our own corn. Uh, we make our own sauces. We don't use any canned products. We don't uh, freeze any of our meats. We try to stay true to our recipes, as well as to give them a little twist of our own to make them unique to our, to our concept. We visited Ola Tacos in Willoughby. There are a couple of other locations though throughout the area. And tacos, well that leads us to cheese. The perfect topping and great for any snack. And this is the newest home of the Old Brooklyn Cheese Company. Old Brooklyn Cheese started four years ago, December 17th, 2016. It's a cut and wrap cheese store. For my idea was to have a cheese shop in Cleveland that didn't exist before and to kind of like have the extra support for customers to trust us, uh, I started making cheese, which that really helped. In Van Aken, it's, it's been very welcoming. There's quite a diversity here, so there's a little bit of food for you to have or, you know, there's other uh, specialty shops. Um, I think we kind of fall into that, um, you know, half-half, you know, because we have food, but it's also you know, items you can take home uh, and enjoy. We try to have a lot of local, as much as I can get uh, shipped up here, or some of the distributors have some local products, which is great, uh, but a lot of it is picking up the phone. We know the cheesemakers. Uh, we know the owners. Ohio, they're, they're making some great cheese, and we're proud to sell it. I think for us, helping people figure out something new is kind of exciting, and then they can take it home and, you know, enjoy with their family. Everybody loves to make their own cheese boards and charcuterie, you know, at home, which is great. Feeds a lot of people. Uh, they're supporting other businesses, which is another, you know, important thing. There's no limits or rules, really. You know, you can make whatever you want. There's no bad leftovers in a, a cheese and charcuterie board. Cleveland's a mustard town, for sure. 
Um, this is a little bit of a different version. I pickle the seeds and the other half I use Collision Ben Brewery. They're down in the flats and infuse the beer into the other seeds and come up with different flavors. So they're doing really well. Winning some national and world awards with them, which helps. So far, so good. <laughs> and it also hopes to get, uh, you know, on the Food Network, Michael Simon plugging it. Both of the shops, the Bravi Road and then the Van Aken one, they're all online. So customers or people can, even out of state, they've been, that's kind of something that's happening now, is they can shop at home, pick out all their items, and then they, they can either have it picked up, ready to go, or they can have it delivered within a radius. Opening September 1st, I was able to actually be here physically every single shift for two months straight. So it was good for me because it was like, oh my God, there's customers, customers, customers from old Brooklyn. And they're like, oh, I, we live across the street. We live, you know, two minutes away. Oh, this is gonna be our, you know, our new local. So I didn't realize how many people from the east side would go, you know, make the pilgrimage to the west side of Cleveland. You'll find the Old Brooklyn Cheese Company in Old Brooklyn, as well as in Shaker Heights. Still to come, some mouth-watering barbecue. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. Why spend hours smoking meat for dinner when you can, of course, dine in or grab it to go in Tremont? This is proof. It's a craft bourbon, craft barbecue, peak easy feel. So we were kind of giving a neighborhood feel of like what the neighborhood was missing. So we came up with the Proof Barbecue. It's a Texas style, slow and low barbecue. And we feature the pork belly, brisket, of course. We have a great pulled chicken. We have a great sausage and rib specials too as well. Recipes we started about two years ago. Start with the steamed buns. and We do a homemade pickle uh, with a little bit of pickled onion relish. The pork belly is absolutely phenomenal. It's in the smoker, slow and low. Just salt and pepper, one of our best appetizers. So you can get a cocktail, get an appetizer instead of like if you're eating light, you don't have to get a whole pound of brisket. You can get a couple appetizers and some bourbon or craft cocktails, enjoy it with that. So the steam buns are great for that as well. Over here we have tacos. Tacos are a huge hit already. They're like the number one seller. The brisket taco is the number one. We, it's a 14 hour smoked brisket. We do a pineapple slaw, smoked cheddar, and the cheddar comes from Middlefield, Ohio. It's a local cheddar and it's smoked and it adds a great flavor. Over here we have featured the brisket. It's definitely, with the meats, the number one seller. It's Texas style, so it's slow and low, salt and pepper, 14 hours, and there's different sides. We make the homemade pickles, pickled onions, and we have the famous nachos. Can't go wrong with starting off with the nachos. Those are the pulled pork and we got the smoked cheddar on there. We do a homemade Roja sauce on top. Everybody starts with that so they kind of get you going for the rest of the meal. When you come down here it's a different environment. Very relaxed. It's a smaller, cozy. Um, we have different nooks for tables so it's just you can come down here and spend some time. We have tables that are a little bit bigger, so you can bring up six or eight different people, and it's very comfortable. Barbecue for me is, is similar to pizza in two different ways. We take our time at crust and we make all our rolls for the bread and we you know spend a lot of time fermenting dough for the pizza. And barbecue, the way we're doing it's similar. We spend a ton of time on the meats and slowly smoking them and everything starts the day before. And you know, you're pulling out these beautiful certified AES beefs out of the smoker and it's 14 hours worth and it's just like the time it takes, you know. It's like TLC, it takes the love and the passion and everything for the smoking. It takes time, it's a science, so we love doing it. From barbecue to a big old help at a pasta, it's time to shop at Giovanni's Market. Giovanni's Italian Market is 
a place on the west side in Parma Heights. We decided to do a Giovanni's Italian market for the west side um, customers, if you will, that don't want to drive so far to go and get their fine Italian food, their homemade bread, their cannolis, their uh, bakery. One of our wow factors that we're really proud of is we have the best pizza you could ever imagine. Not to mention our calzones. We put the regatta cheese, the provolone, the mozzarella, the romano, and it has the wow factor. People love it. Our sauce is homemade. Our meatballs are homemade. So that's what people are looking for. They're looking for authentic homemade food. And that's what we offer here and much, much more. If you want pastries, you're gonna get cannolis, Italian cookies, uh, cassata cake. We have Italian olives. You want a good Italian olives. We have a good Italian lunch meat, pastrami. Um, uh, one, one, one of our hottest sellers, sellers here is uh, mortadella. A lot of people don't carry that. We got people coming in every day looking for it. It's our Italian grab and go. That's the, gonna be the big hit here. You come in, you want a lasagna, you want a cannoli, you want some fresh Italian bread, you want some olives, you want a sausage sub with uh, sauteed green pepper, red pepper and onion, you want a meatball sub, I'm the founder of Giovanni's Italian Market, um, and I have some great people uh, that are involved, uh, like Bob, Mr. Bob Tushi, retired from Orlando. He adds so much to the to the place as far as uh, consulting. And then we have Dave Gessner, which is a Parma lieutenant. And so, with that being said, we have a great group. And, and if you're a shopper, you can go on our Giovanni's Italian website and register. And on Friday and Saturday, we're gonna have events that will consist of party trays of rigatoni and meatball, uh, pastries, all different types of food, complimentary. And we're gonna have wine tastings. Yeah, we're in a good location, we have great food, and we're gonna keep adding on. We're gonna make it better. We're gonna bring in so much stuff from Italy and Sicily. favorite part is talking to the customers. I love it. They're great people out here. I think whoever hasn't, uh, who hasn't been here yet should come and try it. And if you've been here already, it's going to get 100% better. Giovanni's Market is located on West 130th Street in Parma Heights. From there, we head to 787 Market. It's one-stop shopping for the flavors of Puerto Rico and more. Seven eight seven Market and Cafe. It's like a bodega style. Typically, you see this in New York or Miami or Chicago. And basically, what that is, is like a ethnic Hispanic grocery. So we specialize in a lot of Puerto Rican imports. Seven eight seven. Uh, that's the Puerto Rican uh, area code. Like it's like it's kind of saying here in Cleveland two one six. I just wanted to do something a little unique. There's not many numbers in business names and. I just thought of like 7-Eleven, so I'm like, why not 787? <laughs> There's certain products that uh, we have that other stores don't have. In Puerto Rico, we eat a lot of flan. That's like a, it's a custard. And so we actually carry a custard directly from Puerto Rico, which is, uh, which is famous. It's called flan and sedo. We have seasoning, spices, uh, a lot of snacks, like the cookies that we would find back home. Even like normal everyday staples, like rice or like corned beef, like we have that, but it's from the island. So we got like our name brands here and it just brings a lot of this nostalgia for our customers. And that's what we want to do. We want to bring like a little piece of home here to Cleveland, but we also want to share that culture with everyone. We have like a little gift shop here, so we have the license plates. The names on them are the different cities in Puerto Rico. We go through a lot of those because here in Cleveland, um, we're like the 10th largest uh, Puerto Rican population in the United States. 
Then we got like doblon, which is like a little cookie slash candy. It's like a chocolate covered cookie. Those are very popular. We got uh, a sweet bread called mata hambre, which is more like a snack. It's very sweet, it's very good. Uh, we also got porvorones, which is like, they're like almond cookies. We also got uh, grajeas, which are like sprinkle cookies with sprinkles on them. We got a lot of things. I'm here to serve a couple communities. I want to serve the old Brooklyn community. Um, this is my home. I actually moved into the neighborhood. I definitely want to serve this neighborhood. But I also want to serve the Puerto Rican community, obviously. I want this place to be somewhere that's comfortable, where everyone can come, enjoy our food and our culture, and there's no judgment here. 787 Market is located on Memphis Avenue in Cleveland. Still to come, Sweet and Flaky, a treat from Fairport Harbor. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. Today, it's all about grab and go. So we are running into the Gateway Diner to see what's on the menu here. Skizzlin bacon. The Gateway Diner is a place where friends become family. We want everybody here to come in and feel welcomed. We want them to come in and, you know, stay. Stay a while, get to know us, we get to know them. My husband works for the city of Wycliffe and he was just coming up with different ideas and he had asked, you know, hey, did you ever think of calling it the Gateway or something with the Gateway? Wycliffe was known for um, the Gateway to Lake County and that's kind of how it came about. I think our families have been a great support. My niece works here, my daughter works here, her dad works here with us. The community has been amazing new faces all the time. Coming through the drive-thru, we have the drive-thru window. When we were talking about the menu, we really thought that we needed to do something that was um, comfort food and diner-ish, but we wanted to put our own modern spin on it. So when you when you look through our menu, you'll see a lot of those diner specials that you know, you've got the French toast, and you've got the pancakes, and you have the burgers and these, these salads and things like that. And then we tried to take that one step up and make variations and modify it a little bit to something that was ours and made our own. If you're talking about breakfast, I would have to say definitely our French toast. Super popular, people love it. You can't go wrong, there's nothing around here like it. Our omelets are fantastic, uh, all made to order. And then when you move on to lunch, I think what you'll see a lot of people doing is uh, burgers. We hand patty our burgers on a daily basis. And we throw them on the grill, uh, let them simmer in those juices, so you can't pass those up either. We also have an entree section too, so you've got your comforts there. We have your homemade meatloaf and your uh, your fish dinner, which is really popular, uh, stuffed cabbage and things like that. So there's really those things that we like to hit on. We try to do as many things fresh. We're constantly in here prepping, constantly in here trying to figure out what we can do to make it better. So it's really special to us to know that when your food comes out, it's coming out right as we made it. It's a passion for a lot of us. So we want everyone to know that when we, your food comes out, we cared about that dish. The Gateway Diner is located in Wycliffe. And well, you know, we thought about it this hour. We can't forget about breakfast or a flaky afternoon snack. This is glazed. Glaze Fairport is a donut shop, sub shop, bakery in Fairport Harbor, Ohio. We offer plenty of variety in terms of donuts, which all of our donuts are baked, not fried. My wife always calls them the healthy donuts. And then we have a variety of fresh made bread, cookies, and other sweets throughout the day. We have a seasonal variety. Usually throughout the summer, we have a weekly special that we give. So anything from maple to maple bacon, chocolates. You know, this week we have peppermint chocolates and apple filled with caramel and cream cheese. 
frostings, mochas, and s'more donuts, coconuts. We do kind of a, a variety of everything. I would say our Fairport Sand is probably the top one. So that's our maple yeast donut that has cinnamon sugar on it. We also have uh, cinnamon rolls that I would probably say are, are famous in town. That's probably our top seller for sure. You know, so those are just regular cinnamon rolls with our cream cheese frosting on top. And all this stuff is baked in shop every single day. We have a crusty Italian bread that's a favorite in town. And so I'd say that that's kind of where the bread thought kind of started with. And when we started to offer subs, we decided to be a little bit more unique and start making our own bread as well. I'd say that they're traditional cold cut subs. We do heat them up if it's uh, requested, but for the most part, like our most popular is probably the anchor sub. And so that's a hot capicola with mozzarella cheese, salami, pepperoni, lettuce, tomato, banana peppers, and then we have an herb mix that we make in spot two. We have different apparel, jewelry, and other goodies over there. All of it is handmade, and then we have it printed up uh, in town at Max Screen Printing in Painesville. And then we have some other souvenirs that are usually good for the beach, so some bubbles and kites and that kind of stuff, uh, just for any of the tourists that are coming into town to, to hang out. We moved to Fairport Harbor about two years ago. Once we moved here, we decided to open up a donut shop to start um, so that we can provide the community with some sweets since we didn't have anything in town. We just try to come up with new combinations on a, a weekly or monthly basis, and the community is great. The, the people that we get to talk to and be around, everybody appreciates us being here, we appreciate them coming in, but it's amazing to, to be a part of it. And so it's just been kind of a fun thing that our kids get to grow up and be a part of as we uh, grow and, and do fun things with them. Glazed is located in Fairport Harbor. When we return, a teeny piece of dessert that is overflowing with flavor. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. So no food show would be complete without dessert. And trust me, you are going to want to savor the flavor at this next stop. This is Cleveland Chocolate Company. Cleveland Chocolate Company is a bean to bar chocolate shop uh, here in Tremont in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, opened in 2020. We make all of our chocolate completely from scratch using organic and fairly traded cacao. We start completely from the ground up using just the best ingredients that we can possibly source. Chocolate's made with such few ingredients that it's very important to source the best quality ingredients possible. Um, and I think that's what really sets us apart. We're using specific cacao from one growing region and it's just like coffee or wine you can really taste the difference when you're tasting a bar side by side from different regions e even if it's the same percentage it's going to taste completely different we have kind of influx between 15 and 20 bars uh, currently focusing on the single origin chocolates the dark chocolates being kind of our, our special focus but we also have some beautiful milk chocolates featuring single origin cacao so we have some fun seasonal white chocolate inclusion bars I have always liked to eat with the seasons and even though chocolate is <laughs> is a year-round process and uh, can be enjoyed year-round. I try and focus on some seasonal seasonal variations in uh, in our offerings as well. Our coffee with cream bar is one of our favorite inclusion bars. We use our ready set coffee. We grind that with the 70% Haitian cacao, and we do a, a dark chocolate like coffee infusion, and then that's swirled with the 35% vanilla bean white chocolate. So it's a little coffee with coffee with cream, little playful, playful bar. 
The chocolate hazelnut spread is delicious. It's one of my one of my favorite products. It's made with our 70% dark chocolate from Dominican Republic. So it's a single origin chocolate spread that's married with roasted hazelnuts. It's like a like a truffle on a spoon. <laughs> I love to have one to two bars and just sit there with with a friend or with my husband and eat a few squares kind of side by side and go through, make, make my own little tasting and enjoy the chocolate a little bit at a time. It's special and it certainly can be devoured in one sitting. <laughs> I know this, I know this firsthand. <laughs> There's gotta be some R&D somewhere. <laughs> so it can be enjoyed how, however, you, however you like. Yeah. The Cleveland Chocolate Company is located in Tremont in the old Fairmont Creamery building. Maybe you prefer to drink your dessert? Well, that's okay. Take the grand tour of Heritage Coffee. Heritage Coffee uh, to us is the genuine coffee that you can get in the area. Uh, Heritage Coffee was named after the fact that uh, coffee has a lot of meaning to me. I grew up in Iceland, and uh, anytime you get together, you're gonna have some coffee. And you have to have that really good coffee to be able to offer to your friends and family. And so that's why we uh, created Heritage Coffee. We want to be a local shop supporting other local shops. So our coffee is going to be local, our pastries are local, all the photography that's on our walls, along with the clay in the back, even our food options are in the back. Everything is local. You can get to any of these places within 25 minutes. Duck Rabbit is our roaster. He's a local roaster in Cleveland area. Uh, personal opinion is the finest roaster that you can get a coffee from. So we have coffee that's anywhere from light to medium roast. Uh, it'll range anywhere from a very crisp, fruit forward, citrusy coffee to a more rounded, full-bodied, more of a uh, bourbon undertones coffee. So if you really kind of like the ranges and natural flavors that the uh, fruit can bring for that bean, it's the best choice you can get. We can go anywhere from a drip coffee. You can just get it that we drip every morning, a cold brew process and a pour over process. And everything we offer, we offer either in caffeinated or in decaffeinated. We have a cold brew tower and we take ice and water we put it at the very top. It drips one drip per second. And then after 12 hour process, that is now your cold brew. So you end up essentially having like a concentrate uh, that you pour over a full glass of ice. If you choose to, you can put a sweetener in there uh, or some uh, dairy products if you'd like to. Uh, personally, I like it over ice, just letting it melt a little bit. Pour over is probably the most like refined process if you really wanna have a good cup of, a hot cup of coffee. So we're gonna grind the beans just to that one cup, and then we would go ahead and uh, do a pour over process to it. It takes about five minutes. It's gonna be a little bit sweeter, it's not as bitter. We can get those oils really in there, and those oils can then naturally cover your palate. So you're gonna get that nice sweetness of your coffee. Our tea comes from Ohio Tea Company. Fantastic company, they have hundreds of flavors. We typically try to keep whatever the seasonal flavors in stock, and then a traditional green tea or a black tea. Victoria's Craft Bakery, so she's actually a home bakery and she is phenomenal. And we have anything from brioches, if you want some uh, more of an egg and bacon type process, or we have all kinds of sweets as well. Our cinnamon rolls are phenomenal. Uh, we always carry a gluten-free option and we always have a vegan option as well. So obviously very difficult during a pandemic to be able to open up a coffee shop and be able to have a really safe environment. Uh, so when we opened up, we made sure we had all uh, non-porous materials. We have sealed tables, we have uh, leather that we can wipe down easily, and then we have installed a halo air purification system. And we are doing all these things, including the signs on our tables to let you know we've sanitized them so that you can feel comfortable coming in, relaxing, and enjoying that cup of coffee. Heritage Coffee is located in Solon. We are done and I am full. I don't know about you. We covered a lot today and I know you might have some questions. Don't forget, we have the list of every place we featured on our website, fox8.com. Just look under our New Day Cleveland tab. And as always, you can reach out to us to find out information or to just even share your suggestions. I'm Natalie Hervick and I'll see you on the next New Day Cleveland.